Now that we've covered the basics and intermediate level, it's time to take a deep dive into FICO's five scoring categories. I'm going to begin with inquiries because that's what comes first, not necessarily because it's the most important. However, we do get more questions about inquiries than we do about any other category. Many things are misunderstood about inquiries, so let's take a deep dive right into inquiries and get it straight right now. Although inquiries only comprise 10% of your total credit score, they are still a very interesting subject to explore. I think one of the reasons why we find them so interesting is that it is one of the things that we have complete control over. So uh, as we've discussed in the basic course, the first thing that you must know about inquiries is they are divided into two categories. Hard inquiries, which are the kind of inquiries that have an effect on your credit score. Any inquiry for money, an application for a credit card, an application for an automobile loan, an application for a personal loan, anything of that nature. And it can only be done with your consent. If you don't consent to it, it can't be a hard inquiry. And if you ever spot an inquiry on your credit report that you didn't consent to that's being treated as a hard inquiry, you have every right to object to it and get it taken off. Soft inquiries don't have any effect on your score. These include inquiries you make on your own. You can make as many inquiries on your own as you would like. And it's a good idea to be making a lot of inquiries on your own so you can always watch out that something's not sneaking in on you. Unsolicited credit cards, those credit cards that offices that you get in the mail that you didn't ask for have no effect on your score whatsoever. Uh, people sometimes talk about opting out of it, which you have a right to do if they become a nuisance. And that's fine if you don't want to be bothered with the nuisance, but don't think they have an effect on your score because they don't. Uh, sec uh, thirdly, inquiries regarding employment. Uh, certain employers make inquiries about your credit scores, particularly jobs that require handling money or that require a special position of trust, such as an airport guard or a security position. And incidentally, there's some legislation uh, that's being proposed by Senator Warren that's going to uh, severely limit these inquiries because many people feel they're simply not fair. But regardless of whether that legislation passes or not, they can still be made as of the time we're in right now. So uh, you should understand that that inquiry will not affect your score. And finally, an inquiry about your rent will not affect your score. And I guess the reasoning behind that is that you're not asking for money. So uh, for that reason, the uh, scoring algorithms don't feel that it has any real effect on your ability to borrow money or your trustworthiness to pay it back. Now. An inquiry that's a hard inquiry has an effect on your credit score for approximately five uh, points for one year. It shows on your credit report for two years, but the only time it has an effect is one year. And when I say approximately five points, it, it's not exactly five points. It has a lot to do with what else may be in your credit score and what your, um, your credit score is at the particular time it's made, but it averages around five points. So that five points, although it may not sound like much, may make a difference between getting a loan, not getting a loan, or getting a better rate. And for that reason, inquiries are important. Uh, it doesn't soften within that year. I mean, uh, we've talked before how derogatories lose their effect as time goes by. But within that one year, that inquiry has the full effect of the uh, approximately five points. Um, group inquiries, uh, that... That is an expression referring to when you make it, uh, particularly uh, applications for loans regarding an automobile or a home. Within a 30-day period, you may go to several different lenders in order to test the waters of who may have a better rate. And uh, th these are all treated as one. And if you're wondering how they do that, they put the uh, application, because the computer puts it, it codes it. Each industry has its own code. For instance, auto lending has one code. Real estate lending has another code, and it's put into a, a kind of a safe harbor for that 30 days. And any loan that's within that 30 days that's in that code is all bunched together at the end of the 30 days, and it's only one inquiry. So actually, if you really want to get technical about it, that particular inquiry is only going to up to, uh, affect your score for a total of 11 months because the first month it's uh, put in the safe harbor and has no effect whatsoever on your score. Um, 
Another thing that seems to get overlooked a lot when people that I think sometimes excessively worry about inquiries is that it really only affects your score with the credit reporting agency where the inquiry is made. If you're a, whoever a credit card application or is, is run through uh, Equifax or TransUnion, the other two don't know about that inquiry and it doesn't affect your score with the other two. So except for the case of real estate where they get all three scores, uh, it's only one uh, credit reporting agency that gets it. But still, you don't know what, which credit reporting agency is going to be pulled. So for that reason, it can be important regardless of which uh, credit agency it is. Now, um, the certain things to watch out for as far as inquiries that you may not, you, that you may uh, get when you're not thinking about it is store discounts. This is a certainly number one. Um, you go into a department store and you may be tempted to take a 10% discount if you open an account with them. They will run an inquiry on you and uh, that will count as an inquiry. It, it can affect your credit score in other ways too because that one account is going to look to the computer like a maxed out line of credit. So there's a lot of good reasons not to take those store discounts. It's, it's uh, almost never a good idea. If it ever is, maybe on a very expensive home entertainment system or something of that nature. Car rental companies, if you don't pay with a credit card, you pay with a debit card, at least thrifty and maybe some others will ask you to run a, a credit check on you. And it counts as an inquiry. And you may wonder why they run a credit check when you're paying with a debit card since the cash is there with the debit card. The answer to that is that it's widely known that people with lower t credit scores tend to make more claims. And it's been proved time and time again through statistics. So although it doesn't seem fair, and it is unfair in many cases, just be careful about renting a car with a debit card because you're going to get an inquiry out of that rental. And I don't think it's usually worth it if there's possibly any other way around it. And uh, other than that, uh, watch the inquiries. Don't take out credit you don't need. And uh, every time you, you apply for something you don't need, you're taking another inquiry and then you carry that burden for a year. So that's pretty much covers inquiries. We'll talk more about some of the other uh, factors that affect uh, your FICO score and deep dives into the other aspects.